guys, happy Tuesday. Girls are working. I wanted to show you what Gabby's up to. Oh, she moved her head. So this is how, this is what homeschool looks like. We got one girl on the computer. You can barely see her little head popping up. And we got one girl and doing flashcards. Right yeah, with her girl. With her girl, who's doing better. She's settling in. Did you, did you hear her howling at night? <coughs> kind of. I hear one when I'm not. So yeah, basically this girl has been howling up a storm at night, but last night was a little bit better. She only was howling for a few minutes once. <coughs> she's like, this is my girl. See how she stayed claim? This is my girl. This is who I love. I wanna see. Oh, see, she did it. Yeah, this is what she's been doing. So now that it is October, there's so many fun, exciting things that happen in October. What are they? Thanksgiving and trick or treating! Thanksgiving and trick or treating. She is right. So we are having a big family a feast here. Thanksgiving is this coming weekend. Don't forget, we are also hosting our day by day merch contest and mm. trick or treat. Oh, you're crazy. Trick or treat. Um, so if you want to enter our merch contest, you can pick a shirt, a t-shirt out of our merch store and we will order it and send it to you. Um, and there's a video, I'll get Sam to link it right here, right here, so that you guys can go and enter it. All you have to do is comment, like the video, subscribe if you can, if you can't, that's okay, and comment what shirt you want from our merch store. Anyway, so because we are getting ready for Thanksgiving, it's time to say goodbye to the Schleich. So all of this stuff has got to go upstairs. Look at the mess of it. We need like more room than just a dining room table for a Schleich. So Gabby and I are on the Schleich mission. Gabby, Sophie's still working on math. Math is, takes her forever, but this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to move all the Schleich. Your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold in here. Hey, Rips. She's never been in here. If you are new to our channel, then you might not know that this is Gabby's extra room. She has a bedroom, and then she has a sunroom. Oh, crap. I forgot to close the doors. And it is freezing in here because we left all the windows open. She's got a bed in here. It was a pillow bed. Yeah, she's got this super cool trundle bed. It's called a trundle? Yeah, so I all like you do. What I like about the Schleich barns is that the doors actually lock. Yeah, like almost lock. That's cool. They so the trundle bed it just pulls out. <coughs> Move, Rubes. Move, Ruby. Uh oh, it's stuck here. There we go. So then, when they want to sleep out here, Sophie can sleep there, and Gabby can sleep there. They got a TV, which <laughs> probably have to like come in soon. She's got a nice cozy chair for hanging out, and then we have all these things that we're gonna. Our Schleich's not going on that. We're, we're gonna try and put some Schleich in there. Well, we gotta figure out something to do. We're gonna end up putting all the Schleich upstairs for how long? How long are we gonna put the Schleich up here? Uh, just for like a week. Just till after Thanksgiving. We're just gonna keep it up here for a week. Right. So I'm outside with Ruby. Oh man, you guys, this dog has been such a journey. Such a journey. Anyway, she is a bit of a project dog. And she's a bit of a rescue dog. She's still confused why she's not with her mom and her dad, which just breaks my heart. It's so hard to rehome a dog. People don't think that when you rehome, you just think your dog goes off into this sunny place with their new family, but it's such a transition. It's so hard on them. Like, she uh, just looks crazed. Like, where are they? Every time we go inside, she's looking for them. It's getting a little better, though. So she was not crate trained, she was not potty trained, so we're working on both of those things. And she has been howling all through the night since we got her, just howling. So last night was the first night, she only howled one time in the middle of the night and I had to wake Sam up and say, go tell your dog to be quiet. But anyway, um, potty training has been a whole other journey. She doesn't like to go to the bathroom, she just does not like to go. Anyway, this is what I do. This is my routine. I've been trying to teach Sam. So I come outside with her. I sit on the step on the porch chair. I just sit here and she goes down in this area. It's a fenced in area that we have just for the dogs to use as a potty. And she has to go down there. So if I pay any attention to her at all, she 
doesn't go down there. So I have to sit here like this, stare straight ahead. I'm like, doo, 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 and I make no noise. And I just pretend I'm not paying attention. And she watches me, and then when she thinks that I'm not gonna give her any attention, she'll go and she'll do her business. But she literally will circle in the position to do her business for 15 minutes before she actually does it. So I guess I'm gonna be spending a lot of time out here on this porch in the freezing cold of winter while she gets used to us and doing her stuff at our house. But I don't think she has to go now because she's decided to sit here exactly like I'm sitting, but between my legs. But it could be because the little dogs are down there. They're afraid of her and she's afraid of them. See how they're all cuddled up there? And <laughs> she's over here. Come on, come on, Macy. Come on, come on, Cookie. They're like, it's not happening. It's not happening while you have that big crazy dog out there. Come on. <laughs> She definitely does. I've always found that when we rescue any animal and we put them in the bathtub, for some reason, probably because it makes them vulnerable, they all of a sudden attach to us. And I've been talking to you guys about how she's not really attached. I mean, she is attaching to us, but she's still really missing her family. So hopefully this bath will get her clean and make her love us even more. Ruby, shake. Shake, shake. Good girl. Can you shake, Ruby? planning something fun I'm not gonna tell you what it is I'm not gonna give you any clues or any idea what we're setting up what we're planning <laughs> um, uh, but while we're setting it up I wanted to let you guys know that we uh, went to look at another farm on the weekend we did not have any room in our vlog vlogs are usually between 13 and 15 minutes our vlog would have been like six hours if we kept all of our footage so we're gonna show you guys the footage of the last farm that we went to see while we set up our secret thing and I'm curious to see what you guys think of it. We'll be back when you're done. Anyway, we're headed to look at another farm. So Sam, tell us about the farm. It is uh, currently a pig and chicken farm. <laughs> and it needs work, but it's a good price and it's far away from town. Yeah, so it's out of the country. The other horse, the house that we like, that needs a lot of work that we're still considering is right on a busy hot like on a busy highway and so we'd always be worried about our dogs and our pets and and stuff so it kind of makes us more we we want to have some place more out in the country it has 11 acres though. yeah and this one has 11 acres the other one only had six so we are on our way there and we're going to show you guys just like usual we're driving and Sam's like oh i see it i see it and he points like ahead to the house and I look at it, it's such a nice house and it has a big beautiful barn. I'm like, oh, I love it. And he's like, no, not that one. That barn over there that's fallen down. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. Beside the church. There it is, right beside a church. Hey, see this fallen down barn right here? That's, this is it. This is it. <coughs> wow. Lots of. <coughs> wow, I like it. Wow, oh, it's cute actually. Lots of neighbors, but cornfield across the road. This is kind of cute. I like it. It's on a private road, not on a busy highway. If it was that, I'd like it better. Yeah, if it was that one, we'd like it better. But who cares? Let's go see. 
let's go see. Uh, the, the thing that's holding us back is that I don't want to live someplace that I feel like it's going to be hard on my soul. So that's the barn. All right, so this is the yard. That's the neighbor's garage there, I guess. Wow, that's a big barn. That is a big barn. And there's another barn there. This barn there has got pigs in it. All this property. There's a little shed, lots of hay. Oh, it seems weird. Lots of acres back there. Do you think they even use that? This barn? We're all about the barn. There's hay in there, right? Okay. So you can't really see anything. There's a dog in there. Oh. Oh, oh that's cute. This could be like a stall. Could be a barn. Could be a little barn. It's not bad. I love it. She's right there. Oh, that's cute. It's not super stinky for being a pig barn. Yeah, this is where we could put any kind of animal, huh? And then they have like the little thing to go out over there. A miniature pony in here? Yeah. So a woodshed and then the property. Neighbors right there. Oh, the house is cute. Oops. Sorry. All right, so this is the dining room. It's big. The house is cute. Oh, that's a cute chair. This is big and cozy. Horse, 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 horse. Dining room. So cute. This is like, wow. This would be our school room. Yeah, that's cool. Look at this, this is your school room. Or our exercise room. Wow. Honey room is gorgeous. And this is the only bathroom in the whole house and it's obviously under construction. So the walls need to be done. Cute tub. Cute vanity. You have to wait till we go home. You can't use people's stuff. It's cute though. I do too. Okay. So then outside. Open it and see. Yeah, it's the basement. Right, let's go up the stairs. Wow, they put out like a wood railing. It's flimsy but cute. The stairs are nice. A nice wood. Wow, it's cute up here. This would be a great office. Oh my God. So nice up here. Baby stuff. There you go, Sophie. This would be your room. This is my closet. Uh, this is a big, huge closet. So this would be Sophie's room. Huge closet. And then this would be Gabby's room. No, which one's bigger? This one by a lot. Look at the in, in big closet. This is cute. Yeah, look, I hate the dog. property though. Do you hate, do you hate the property? But look at right outside. I mean, this could be a kid's room. It has a big storage closet in here. This could be our school room. What? Just wait. And then this floor looks like it's in the middle of being renovated. But it's got a big room. Why did you go up here without me? Sorry, Gabby. Oh, I do too. Me too. Let me ask if you can use the toilet. No, there's something about looking at other people's houses that make us all room? have to pee. Laundry room. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's the internet? Oh, here. Oh, Is it Bell? Um, no. Uh, Explore net. Push the door in. Pull it back. Open the door, open it and get out.
Go right outside. Ow, it looks like a cat. The porch with the slide. They had a pool there, but I guess they took it down. Yeah. There was a pool. And they took it down. But we can put a pool there. It's a perfect spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Wait, I oh. see long trails. Where? Yeah, because they took down their pool. Uh huh. They did. And that would be your view for the backyard. Look at our horses back there. Build a bigger deck. Hi. All right, so I don't know. I'm conflicted. All I know is that nothing we've seen has been like, hey, I love this farm. Let's go buy it. What do you guys think? Nah. What nah. do you think? Yeah. Oh, I want it because of frogs. Sophie definitely wants to buy that farm because she found frogs there and they were like this big she and likes it. two oh. of them. Same. Yeah. So, I mean, that is a big win for her. So that's what her, that, that's what's important for her. I liked the hey, bedrooms. I mean, it all needs to be like cleaned up and fixed up, but it's big. The house is big. The property is bigger than the one we found last time. This one had like a next door neighbor, which was not awesome. So I don't know. It's a no. We're not Yay. getting it. It's probably a no. A no? All right, you guys, I didn't want to tell you, so it could be a surprise, but we set up an agility course in our backyard. You hold the treat bucket, okay? Yeah, we got the treats. We got the agility course. Wait. Ruby. We got the agility course. Ruby. Come on, Ruby. And we got the dog. Obviously, this is not gonna be a one day Practicing, 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 and then I can hardly wait to show you guys that by the end of the fall how awesome she is. Ruby. Oh, that's good. She got her following you now. Ruby. 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 Awesome. Good girl. Give her a treat. One, two, three. I she won't do that until she's scared. Mom, I just popped my elbow. You just popped your elbow? In. Oh, did it hurt? Oh, good. And we got the water, just in case. And guys, we got the clicker. Oh yeah, we got the clicker. And the whistle. The clicker and the whistle. And we got the clicker girl and the whistle girl. All right, the race is about to begin. Ruby, 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 Ruby. She won't do it when people are watching. Come on. Lots of treats for this. Ruby. Ruby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ruby. Come on. Come on. She's a jumper for sure. Okay, so that is training session one. All right, you guys, we are back with question of the day, and we decided to choose two. And the thing about, I remember now why we never did question of the day before, and it was because I can't answer any of your guys' questions throughout the whole day because I have to wait and pick one at the end of the day, and then I end up not answering all of your guys' questions. It's just weird. Anyway, we're gonna do two. So a question of the day one goes to Waffle Bear, and she says, hi, I have a question for Gabby. Oh. <laughs> Um, what is the transition like from trot to canter? I've heard that it's a rough transition. So do you have any tips to make it smoother? Thank you. Uh, just toes up, heels down, because it's like the same with trotting without stirrups. Is and it a, how is the transition? Is it a rough transition, a smooth transition, easy, hard? You're pretty um, good at it, I think. Rough transition. Is it? <coughs> and you have to sit back? Yes, kind of. Thanks it's for just your like question. extended sitting trot without stirrup. I hope that answer works for you. Question number two goes to um, Laura Horses. I picked her because she has the best name. No, I'm just kidding. Um, she says, hey Laura, just wondering if you are riding while you lease the horses. And am I riding while we lease the horses? No, and I was allowed to ride, but our time with Jasmine is over. We're riding Spencer and Blue, Spencer and, Spencer and Blue, starting tomorrow. 
and I just, it's only two weeks and I don't want to take the time away from the girls. If you are, when? And who do you think will ride? And it would have been Jasmine and now it's nobody because I already said I'm not going to ride. Um, she says that I think you would be good on blue. Also, now that you have Ruby, do you think you'll still get an Irish Wolfhound? Do you think we'll still get an Irish Wolfhound? No way. We wanted... Dad shook his head back. Yes? Right here. Did he shake his head? No. We wanted an Irish Wolfhound, and we wanted a puppy, and we wanted to get like a registered one so we could maybe show it and do agility, but we ended up, this is what, where God led us, and we just followed, and And we didn't want one after because of, like... And now they we, die really soon. Yeah, like we don't want to go Only nine years to spend with them. Yeah, we don't want to go through that again. And a tip for Gabby, when you're riding stirrup lifts, cross the stirrups over the saddle so they aren't swinging around and hitting his sides. Can't wait for more vlogs. P.S. Hi from <laughs> Australia. So, so the problem with putting the stirrups like <clears throat> crossed at the top is because like I can't do this without stirrups. Just for like four and a half strides, like four or five strides. And um, I could hardly hang on. Okay, so I'm gonna just so do- So I needed to reach I'm gonna, the stirrups. I'm gonna do one more, and it's from H&N Vlogs, and they said, how's Ruby doing? Great. Good. Ruby! She's doing she's really right. well, she's adjusting. She Oh, she's right here, she's always right by us. She's doing Me. really well. She's super pretty. Look at how pretty she looks now, you guys. Oh, Daddy, if we touch her, she gets so happy. So happy. She just melts when you touch yeah. her. Yeah. She, like I said before, she's adjusting. And hopefully it's just going to get better and better as time goes by. She does have some issues. We're working on them. And our dogs are not very happy with her yet. It takes about a month for dogs to adjust. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, we are gonna see you guys tomorrow. We have some exciting things coming up this week. On Wednesday, we are, or on Thursday, we are going to go and see our very first horse. horses horse. for sale. We're going <laughs> horse shopping on Thursday, so that video will probably be up on Friday. Hopefully yeah. We got to touch Can't them. wait to share all the information about the horses. And we're meeting a guest tomorrow. And tomorrow, we are meeting <laughs> subscribers who ride at our barn and that we didn't even know. And if you guys are know. watching right now, yay. Yeah. She was at, like, the March break horse camp. Like, the was first she? time we went to the barn, yeah. Oh, so do you So you know her then? Kind of. All right, you guys. We will see you guys tomorrow. Stick around for more fun vlogs. And Bye. don't forget, Bye. if you haven't entered our contest uh, a couple of vlogs ago, then we'll link the iCard up there. And make sure you go and pick out a shirt and enter so that, just in case, it, so that you have a chance to win. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.